small business owners would kind of stop doing so much of or stop doing altogether? Is there is there a myth out there that you'd like to dispel? What is it that gets you on your soapbox, Andrea? The myth I would like to dispel is you don't need to be every place and be everything to everyone. I feel like business owners, a lot of times when we first start working together and I do you know a bit of a content audit and look at uh, where they're showing up and they're everywhere. You know, they're on every social platform. They're doing the newsletter. They're doing, you know, the email campaigns. They're doing this. They're doing that. And <clears throat> the messaging is so diluted because you're stretching yourself so thin. And, and there's no data behind why you should be on this platform. You know, are you getting customers from it? Are you are you growing engagement? And it's, well, we're here because it exists. Well, that's not a reason to be there. <laughs> yep. Um, and and so I work with a lot of the one of the first things, you know, in addition to doing the messaging is, well, I do some chopping. We need to also mm-hmm. cut up. We need to stop spending time on this platform. Let's just mm-hmm. turn it off. We don't need to be there. It's really it's not serving you. And um, let's put that time and those resources somewhere that is serving you. Yeah. Um, so really maximizing the platforms that make the most sense for you. Those that are bringing the most return, bringing the most engagement. Really focus on doing more of what works and stop doing what doesn't. I love it. It sounds simple, but it's really hard for people to let go. <laughs> it is. Um, and uh, again, like I, I feel like you've been spying on me, Andrea, because that's exactly what I'm going through right now is <laughs> when I set up. So obviously we're at, we're at heart, Javelin, who, who's, which is my main business. We're a video repurposing organization, right? We, we, we take 30 minutes, we turn it into hundreds of digital assets. And I tend to give people back assets so that no matter which social platforms they're on or which what media they want to put out there they've got the options and i don't say that you have to use everything it's a case of you've got the options you choose and pick and choose what you want and i kind of felt like for myself i had to lead by example so i have been everywhere i've done exactly what you said there and i've been everywhere Mm -hmm. focused on a couple of main platforms but put content out into the wilderness to see what hits and sticks and it was, it was also kind of an experimentation at the same time. It's like, I don't know which channels are going to be successful unless I try them and then see what happens. Right. But I found two things is that one, I don't really put the effort into the channels I don't like, regardless of whether my clients are there or not, which is a problem because then I don't come across mm-hmm. as authentic. So if you don't enjoy it, think about how much business you're going to get from it. And if it's not enough to warrant it, yeah, drop it, which is what I'm now doing. And two... If you try and do too much, you do nothing at all. So whilst I've proved mm-hmm. a point over the last year, I feel like I've proved my point now and I'm refining back to actually, I want to post less often. I want to post on less channels. And I know now that my messaging, I've tested it through lots of different. So I guess what I'm saying here is in your first year, you might want to do too much, which is fine. As long as you at some right. point stop doing it you, you don't know where your audience is going to be, where things are going to land. So it goes back to that testing. You want to test it, see what sticks. But after, you know, six months, a year, and you're looking at the data, if something's not performing, then stop spending your time and resources on it. And that is very hard for people to do. They feel like it's almost, you know, fear of missing out. Like, I'm going to miss a, cu- a customer or a client because I'm not on this platform. Um, but in reality, you're giving more energy and more time to things that are producing and that are bringing you more people. So invest more in that. Don't think of it as cutting something off. Think of reinvesting it into things that are working well. Absolutely. 